I'm thinking back to when I was in health class in high school, and they asked you, what do you want to be at 25? And I said I wanted to own an island. And she kicked me out of class. She said, say something serious. And I was dead serious. And so I think I've always had very large, ambitious goals. And I think I've always had the, I guess, gall and the bravery to like try it out and like even fail very quickly to, like, to try to do it. So I think I'm, I'm living what I want to do. In the wake of the Miles Davis approach, you're always trying to learn how to sound like yourself, is what he said, right? So I think as I'm growing as a man and as an artist and as a person, I think that sound changes, but the root of it, the through line is the same. You know, I'm black, I play black American music, black Caribbean music, black African music, and I'm living what I want to do. I've learned more as I've gotten older how Jamaicans approach any situation. It's this level of confidence in it that you have to catch up the lack of experience. So I didn't know how to tour. I didn't know how to play saxophone on jazz records. I didn't know how to start various businesses. But watching how my dad approached things growing up was just like, well, I'm in America. I'm going to just figure it out. How did Virginia influence me? How did my upbringing influence me? Growing up, you're just trying to find yourself. You're just doing random things and being a kid. But as I get older and more mature as an artist, I intentionally research and figure out the why behind who I am and who's I am. As an artist, you're constantly figuring yourself out and trying to find answers. But when you have a breakthrough or a breakthrough artist, it's kind of like you have your first moment of figuring it out. Just having a realization that gives you more clarity. The whole show changes once you have different mentors and running mates and we have larger and new goals. Once you win the people, then you're just trying to win your friends again. I care about the people that drove mad far, saved up a lot, bought the scalper tickets. Like, it's, it's too many other people involved. And I think my morality is tied to increasing happiness for the greatest amount of people within respect to myself. So, like, we are at the top of our class. We're the best at what we do. So our positions aren't finite, which makes it great. Like, we're family, but it's like you can lose your spot. If there's a better Masego, take me out the seat. 2014 and 15, when all that little goofiness I was doing online earned me a ticket overseas to Japan, to London, to Germany. It gave me perspective to say, oh wow, America isn't the center of the universe. There's a lot of other things going on. And I was like, all right, I need to start over. I need to figure out how to gain more perspective and how to really shift everything. But travel is what it was. What drives me to pursue my dreams? It has to be a combination of my dreams are the driving factor. Like the fact that I got to see it, something in me wants to make it happen reality. Telling my dream to my band members and them pushing on me to make it happen. No, 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 no. I was just trying to tell you. <laughs> you know what? I ain't even gonna explain it to you. Yo, John looked at me like, what? <laughs> we were speaking about said earlier. He's not gonna let me fail more than for like 30 seconds. And I didn't have that back then. I just had a bunch of people boosting me. When you get people in your life to balance all that love out, then you start to sharpen iron. You start to have that discipline of an athlete. So yeah, back then I would have said, yo, you need to practice every day. <laughs> you need to go in the gym. What would I tell my younger self about the journey? I would say that all the glitters ain't gold. Don't envy anybody else's journey. Practice and read a lot and gather perspectives as early as you can. I think I would tell anybody trying to break through in any form of art to focus on people. Anyone trying to break through needs to understand that it doesn't matter what you're trying to make, it needs to make sure that it's for somebody. And that's the key to breaking through, I think.